What's up guys? Nick back. Just finished the video. Doing another one. Um, I'm a little pissed off. So we can call this a PSA. Public Service Announcement. Or a DSA. Delta Service Announcement. I don't... Whatever. Y'all saw my... Most of you might have seen my unboxing video. Something came up while I was trying to get um, this flash drive configured for the Black Ops flash drive that really, really pissed me off. I configured it. I moved all my stuff over, which wasn't a lot. I'll tell you this now. It wasn't a lot because I had just been playing one game for like four hours and it had Red Dead on it, which was not even an hour worth of gameplay or so. My gamer tag and everything pushed over. Hello, Chloe. That's not Delta Cat. Delta Cat's a boy. That's a girl. Sorry. <laughs> I'm focused. Um, what was I saying? I had everything saved on... Um, it's plugged in the console. It's a little 4 gigabyte flash drive. Works fine. Whatever. I decided to upgrade to an 8 gigabyte because it said compatible with Xbox 360. It's not. It's not. It really isn't. I configured it. Moved everything over. Connected the Xbox Live to uh, get my old gamer tag back. Because I wanted to get it back. My old Delta Merix gamer tag. You play online. My name's Del Delta Merix. All one word. Capital D. Capital M. I don't play online. You can chat with me. Send me messages. Whatever. Reckless Warrior already does. So nothing new, new to you, bud. Sometimes he does anyway. Uh, moved everything over. Got, that, got my stuff back. I was going to get my stuff back. Did this online update which I haven't I just now connected to it after the fact connected to it and it came up no storage device chosen please try again after the downloads already gone through get ready to come back up so I go back to do it the flash drive was unconfigurated if that's even a word Everything I had, gone. So about seven hours worth of gameplay for two games. Seven. It's five. Sorry, my math is off. Five hours worth of gameplay, which might not isn't a lot. I, I did not skip any cutscenes. I can skip cutscenes and get everything back pretty quick. Not that difficult. But I had all that saved up. You know, I only had a few points to the gamer tag like 40 or 50 nothing compared to my Delta Merix which is like 26 to 27,000 if I lose that one that's still online I can grab that back but I have it back like I said everything's gone I don't configure itself so I got into a little blind rage you know cussed a little bit whatever threw a fit configured it again Turn off the console, turn it back on. It looked like it was fine. Now, mind you, yes, it was stupid to move everything instead of just copying it just in case it wouldn't work. I didn't know this. So, I did that, and it worked fine. Did the update again? What happened? Happened again. It happens at random times. Because I, unplug I unplugged it, plugged it back up. It worked fine. Unplugged it, plugged it in a different spot. Gone. Completely gone. So, I went to Google. I went to Google for some answers. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to read this while I'm here. So, if you see me looking off in the space somewhere else, sorry. This is Yahoo Answers. Not naming anybody. I bought a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 badge uh, 
8 gigabyte USB 2.0 flash drive, which is what I got. That's it might not be, but it is. It is. For my Xbox 360. I put it in and configured it and put my stuff on there. I went to bed and when I woke up, I turned on my console and it asked to configure it again. And it erased everything. Is this stick not compatible or what? Every time I plug it in, it asks to configure it. And I assume every time it will erase my stuff. Is there anything I can do? What's going on with it? Okay. Happened to me. I looked at other places. There was one, there was another one. One five star, one something else. It, it had nothing to do with gaming. So I'm like, really? Okay. So here's the answer. That means your flash drive isn't compatible with Xbox. If you have to keep configuring it, that means it's not right for Xbox 360. And yes, you can't do anything about it. All right, I'll be just. I'm keeping this going. I'll be back in just a second. Y'all can see me walk through the house. You can see how large I actually am. Read the bottom of that. It's it's a little blurry. Xbox 360 and PS3 compatible. Xbox 360 and PS3 compatible. It says it on the box. It says it on the box itself. What? It doesn't, it doesn't even say anything else. So, uh, what am I going to do? I'm returning this piece of shit. Yes, you heard me say it. Shit. It's a piece of shit. I have a flash drive that I use, used to use. That one actually keeps all my crap. And it's not even... It says it's compatible, but does it, it won't run well. Well, it does. This, it says it's compatible and it will work. It's compatible and it will work. The third time, it will have performance problems. Out of nowhere, it's going to have performance problems. There's your answer right there, people. Don't buy this for your Xbox 360. Don't buy it for your PS3. Don't. Do not do it. Buy it for your computer. It might work there. If it doesn't work there, whoops. Then it's a piece of shit. All right? Don't buy it. Thank you all for watching. Peace.